today we need to get into Jungkook calling out all the pervy armies and possibly all the crazy content. We also need to get into an idol to have believed to be kissing a Jungkook, and then we have Jungkook begging for privacy. So your dumplings is safe to say, hate it or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on, and grab your dumpling, it's his Bling Mug merch, and let's go. Apparently there's been some recent news that has caused an eruption into the BTS fandom and people are divided over this. For a long time, people have set the argument that the BTS members actually don't want to be posted on the camp app, which is the Korean military app, and they don't post fans there or consume the photos while they are enlisted. They want privacy. However, a lot of this idea of what they want came from the fans and never really the idols themselves. We actually have no idea how the idol feels about being posted. It. The only thing we know is that they happily pose and take photos as they are asked. So there became a conversation over Jimin and Jungkook together at the camp. There's been this ongoing part of the fandom that loves to say that Jungkook and Taehyung are dating and are upset about the fact that Jungkook enlisted with Jimin and not Taehyung. My opinion, it makes no difference because no matter who gets enlisted with who, it doesn't change the fact that we are not going to see either type of coupling, kissing, or doing romantic things because they're just not going to do that with each other. But those who only support Taehyung and Jungkook being seen together were attacking any photos of Jungkook and Jimin, to the point where I think some media sites or videos were getting confused and saying that Jungkook formally asked ARMY and everyone to not look at pictures of them in the military, or that Jungkook actually wants to be taken off the app. Some were reporting to say that we shouldn't consume that content or that they are filing with the military to not have their photo taken and posted on the app. Personally, if that is true, I really don't see any issues with them being posted on the app because it's a good way to remain top of mind to the fandom, to have constantly new photos of them and every time they come out, it makes top headlines. So it's a great promotion for an artist that literally can't be in the spotlight for a year. Why not keep it? However, I understand the fact that the photos could show the BTS members in a more compromising position, whether that is looking less than perfect because they don't have makeup on or just getting photos of them fresh first thing in the morning. But I also highly doubt that any of the photos that are posted of the BTS boys, including Jungkook and Jimin, have been taken completely without the permission of them. Because in some of the photos that we see, we can see the boys posing and being happy. All of which would imply consent to take a photo and likely imply consent to post photo. No one is ever forcing them to take a photo and it's not like they're going to be strapped down and pinned down by the military staff for a photo. They don't want to, that is their decision to decline. What they would need to petition for are the more candid photos and ask the photographer to never get those photos. And I really do hope if this actually is their decision and not just a rumor, that people respect that. But right now there really isn't any evidence of that and only evidence I could think of would have to be coming from an inside source which can only take with a grain of salt because how do you verify that? Although while we don't know how comfortable Jungkook is over photos, we do know how he feels about certain comments being made about him. Armies love to make comments and sometimes go a bit overboard. When saying things online, the thing that typically happens is that when BTS members are on a live stream, I think it's really only the hardcore fans that come on because the live streams are so short and the hardcore fans are the ones that have that live stream page up and ready, they are just waiting for BTS to go live. Recently, Jungkook did a live stream, but it wasn't on Weverse or where you would think it was on. He did one on Station Head, and it was more of a live audio thing. Fans could send in their comments, and Jungkook was answering those questions directly. Now, this is different from Weverse for many reasons. There really aren't as many people controlling or monitoring those comments for Station Head. Jungkook would be more so forced to answer as many questions as he could because that's what he is supposed to be doing in that segment. And on Weverse, he's able to do other activities. So if he sees a comment he doesn't like or makes him uncomfortable, he can just ignore it and go back to cooking, singing, or whatever he's doing. The whole point of this segment on Station Head was to answer questions, so he has to answer it. And then of course, the listeners for Station Head are going to be more general audiences rather than armies who are aware of what to ask and what not to ask. 
asked, what did these people say to Jungkook and what did he say back? Jungkook was asked to take his shirt off and Jungkook comments like that to say that armies are being very perverted. And I think it's a mix of what type of new audience he has cultivated with the new music alongside a lot of newer fans. I think what a lot of people didn't really understand or think about is that a lot of armies were actually unable to support each member of BTS financially. The comebacks, albums, and shows were all so close together that if you spent your money once on one idol, you'd barely have enough left to spend on the next. So actually a big chunk of Jungkook's followers and single buyers have actually been new fans, which of course means they might even be unaware that telling an idol to take their shirt off on a stream could be disrespectful. People think this is exactly how he would feel about a lot of the more hidden army content, whether that is really raunchy fanfic or even the gay fanfic that exists online. And probably this is the type of content that comes with the territory of being famous. People can get uncomfortable, but it's just what happens and a lot of the content that is overtly sexual and hard to watch is content that is so niche and usually private anyway that it's actually hard for Jungkook to Google and just find it. Also, I think every celebrity or public figure is aware that they should never Google themselves ever because that won't ever end well. And even though the members are all in the military, it's actually very interesting to see that all the members and names still get dropped all the time. And it's actually very funny. There was a moment recently where the singer BB actually mentioned both Jungkook and RM. This was absolutely hilarious. So what happened and what did she say? During an interview, BB was asked who the most famous person on her phone was. And she responded by saying that RM and Jungkook were the most famous people she has in her contacts. Very quickly, she wanted to make it clear that she is not close to either RM or Jungkook and is just an acquaintance to them. They met at one point and I guess they exchanged numbers. BB also said it was such a long time ago that RM and maybe even Jungkook have probably changed their numbers. And the fact that she is even unaware of if they did proves that she has no idea and that they are all actually not close. Of course, most people were questioning as to why she would even get hate and then demanding a collab with BB and the BTS members. But some people were definitely more upset. BB was getting some hate from toxic fans throwing hate because they think she is dating them or she might even be getting hate for just being her. Now, if you are aware of her work, it tends to spark a bit of controversy. Her music is pretty good and typically people don't have issues. The issues tend to lie about what she does at concerts when she kisses the fans. The kisses are consensual and they are usually people who look of age. It's typically other girls and she gets a mixed bag for doing this. People like to say that she is trying to be edgy or trying to be Western because this is something a lot of American singers do at concerts, but this has granted her the name of being more promiscuous at shows, or lack, for, or lack of a better word, slutty. Given this, fans were scared of her interaction with BTS and believed that she might hit on Jungkook or did anything. Obviously not, but if they did, it doesn't matter. And I don't mean it doesn't matter because it's none of our business, because obviously it's not. However, whatever a celebrity does becomes the fan's business naturally. And we all innately love to gossip, so it's natural to have it be your business. And if one day we hear, oh, BTS is dating, I don't think saying, well, that's none of my business, is how we are going to naturally react. But it should be the same way in which we honor other celebrities dating. For example, when we see two K-drama actors and actresses dating, we don't think, oh, that's none of our business. We think, oh, they're so cute together and we love them. That should be the same reaction we give K-pop idols who may date. Again, BB and BTS members are not dating. BB has made that very clear, but I think the way we can eliminate hate is to genuinely love to see them in a relationship. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out my Patreon for more videos, link down below. Thanks for this lovely comment right here. Love you, bye.